DC track. On this early morning, walking around the city, they're waking up here in DC, live, walking around. You know, this is a great city. First of all, if you're in a government contract, you've got to come and visit DC. Um, all of the agencies are here. All of the major organizations, associations are here. And you should at least find a reason to get down here and pay a visit. Why? Because if this is going to be your livelihood, this is going to be your lifeblood, it's going to feed your family, then you need to make a concerted effort to get here. Find a reason, find some money, get up here, pay a visit. Once you've done your market research and you've identified who it is that you want to start doing business with, you know, start at the local level again. I always tell my people, start at the local level first. Start at the local level, talk to them. But at the same time, reach out to some people up here because really what I found, and uh, like I said, I was here last week for a conference, the Hub Zone National Conference. Sat in, did my own meetup, sat in on a mastermind group. Turned around, came back up here this week for CBC, Congressional Black Caucus. What I found is that there are a lot of really, really, really friendly people out here that are wanting to help. But if you don't come here, if you don't talk to them, if you don't come and try and meet them, engage with them, you would never know that for yourself. So again, it's like you got to see to believe it. I mean, I'm I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Um, like I said, I've told you in the past. I've again when I call DC, they pay, pick up the phone. The agencies at the top, they answer the phone. When you call that, DC, we call them DC numbers. But at the same time, I think really we definitely should make a sort of effort to try and come up here. If it's not, but maybe once a year, come up here and actually try and do a sit down with someone at the agency because really all of these people are much more how do you say the word they're much more open uh, to hearing the issues that are going on outside of DC right so a lot of times if they're not if they don't get a chance to get out and visit Arizona or Tennessee or Iowa wherever you guys are at they're not going to know all of the things that are going on on the ground. And for you to come up, like for me, I mean, I've been treated with a lot of love here since I've been here. And I'm a Florida boy, and I'm like, hey, I'm a Florida boy. But again, people were like, hey, they don't know what's happening in Florida. And vice versa, you don't know what's going on in D.C. because you're in your state. They don't know what's happening in your state because they're in D.C. And the only information or dialogue they get is from the people that either come to them or for the people that they're talking to over the phone. But that's not the same thing as hearing from the source. So I would encourage anyone and everyone out there who wants to call this market their market, who wants to seriously go after this, these opportunities, I would definitely say get your butt down to D.C. I, I, I tell people all the time, it's not enough to sit behind a computer and try to make this thing work. That ain't going to happen. You got to go to conferences. You got to go to events. You got to show up. You got to be present. Um, I'm telling you, even at the Hub Zone conference, it was interesting because um, I met a company and um, this guy, he was the director for this company. And a lot of times I tell people, we, you know, we, well, and you've heard this from probably your parents and it's a common thing. We got two ears, one mouth to listen. And so as we, him and I were talking, a lady came up trying to sell her services. And she said, she, been, she was from California. Um, the company was based out of California, but they were doing work here in D.C. Major, major prime contractor. Does billions of dollars of federal contracts all over the country. And the, but the guy who was like the small business guy was super, super nice, down-to-earth guy. And he asked her, he said, um, let me ask you something. He says, can, do you guys, can you provide flooring services here locally? And so for me, what is that? What do you hear when someone tells you something? If you're paying attention, that's they're expressing their needs, right? Obviously, he had something in mind, a project he was working on that pertained to flooring. And so, again, if you're only trying to tell them about your painting company or if you're only trying to tell them about 
that you do stucco or drywall or electrical work, whatever the case may be, you're gonna miss or glance over that opportunity. And so again, part of it is showing up being present. And then second part is listening. You know, on another example, one of my students that I was chatting with, him and I were having a conversation and uh, he uh, he's in the video uh, space where they, you know, they make like production videos, things like that. So we're having a conversation and he says, his, the company, they didn't have any past performers. And I go, well, have you tried getting in through the agency through a different a, a revenue avenue excuse me and um, he said no we were on a phone call and the agency just told me hey you don't have any past performance since you don't have any past performance um, you know it's not even no purpose being on the call and so I said well did you bother asking them if there's something else that uh, they needed and uh, he said that he did not do that and he did not try and identify the agency's needs before talking to them, which is something I tell everybody, don't just call them cold, find out what they need and what they buy and make sure that you even uh, should be dealing with that particular agency or that particular person. But nevertheless, after talking, he said to me, you know, Eric, they did ask me if I was 8A. And I go, bingo. And you said what? No, All right? But again, part of the conversation we're talking about today is listening. If he had simply just paid attention to that statement, the person, will, again, was telling you what they needed. And so a lot of times I think what's happening is we're, 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 we don't even know how to recognize an opportunity if it slaps us in the face. I mean, this guy was given an opportunity and he wasn't paying attention. He was so focused on selling his services, selling them on an idea of what he provides, uh, and he didn't think about the customer first. And what we want to do here with my people is change that, and we want to be uh, customer focused. So we we want all of my people who watch me, follow me, listen to me, I want you guys to be focused on the customer's needs, finding out what the customer wants, talking to them, and that's the conversation that we want to have. because. When you start listening, the people are more than likely telling you what they need. And again, I have other examples of another student of mine, but I, I don't. we're not going to go into that now. I just wanted to say, look, these are clearly opportunities in disguise. Um, they're not coming to you with a big old bow and a box and a ribbon and all that kind of stuff. But if someone says, are you this? Do you have that? Can you do this? Those are clues into their needs they don't have to say i need a flooring company i need a 8a i need a help like they don't have to say that they're directly right explicitly but asking you if you can provide this service or can provide this social economic category to me that's already spelling it out so again make sure you listen two ears one mouth pay attention to what the customer's asking you for and then we're going to talk later on about delivering excellence because that's another shortfall that I find with companies who I have either coached into getting in contracts, helped facilitate contracts, facilitate projects, is not delivering excellence. So we'll, we're gonna, we'll jump on that on another video, but just want to do a, talk to you, share a little bit about what I've experienced over the last couple of days and what's going on with me. All right, talk to you guys soon.